We want to help keep you warm this winter, especially when you're working out. Yeah, Emily Deem is live in Appleton to tell us how. Hi, Em. Good morning, Angie and Doug. Hi, everybody. One thing you want to remember when you're exercising outdoors uh, for the cold months is you want to protect your feet, too, and you want to keep them warm. Um, Jeremy Shapiro is here with me this morning with Fleet Feet Sports in Appleton. Jeremy, let's first talk about all the shoes we're wearing. They have breathable mesh, and I can actually feel the air. Is, is that okay? Yeah, it's actually okay to let your feet breathe a little bit, even in the wintertime when it's cold. Uh, we really want that moisture evaporating away from our skin as opposed to right on our skin. And if we cover the shoes and have a lot of leather or anything like that, our feet are going to get very swampy and therefore they're going to get cold. Okay, so it's going to be snowing soon. There's going to be ice. What do you have on your tennis shoes to well, protect Well, I'm wearing a, a device called Yak Tracks, and it's actually a traction aid. It's got some metal coils on the bottom that are intended to grip the ice and to grip the snow a little bit better so that I don't just slip when I'm out there running. Another thing we all think about when, we, when we're in shoes, socks. Socks are a very important thing, yeah. Uh, cotton is a very great fabric and it's wonderful when it's dry. Once it gets wet, it holds that moisture. If you think about your shower towel being wet six hours later. And so a good sock will, will not really have any cotton in it. Nylon poly blends are good. Wool is good. Anything, again, to wick that moisture away so the moisture isn't evaporating on your skin. So we were talking about snow. When you're out there running, sunglasses might be a good thing to wear, like Victoria's wearing right here. And Absolutely. why is that? Well. A lot of the uh, brightness we get obviously comes from the sun, but a lot more of it comes from reflecting up off of the ground, especially in the wintertime. So when you are dealing with snowy conditions, or quite frankly when you're on the lake and you get the reflectivity of the lake, uh, you want to use a polarized lens because that will help to block out some of that from getting to you. And to let you know too, we're all layering this morning. We all have our layers That's on. Right. We had a bunch of other segments before this that yeah. you can actually go to our website and take a look at that. But you have a lot of things that are going on out here, Jeremy, that you do at Fleet Feet Sports. That's um, right. Winter Warrior, can you tell me a little bit Absolutely, about that? Absolutely, yeah. Our Winter Warriors program is a, a training program to get you up to running 15K. Uh, it's, it's meant to really encourage people to be outside during the wintertime and take advantage of the beautiful area we have here. So. And we have all that information on our website. We have a link to their website. Um, and just to let you know, too, my shoes, they glow in the dark. Is that right, Jeremy? <laughs> they, they do. We want <laughs> the ultimate visibility. <laughs> Can't mention it enough. you got to be fashionable even if your shoes glow in the dark. Love it. Thank you, everyone, well, so much for you. being with us this morning. Ange and Doug, we'll send it back to you. That was fun stuff. I learned a lot from that today. Thank you, Emily. Now, now get moving no so you problem. can warm up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now okay. you actually have to run. Yeah. <laughs> no, I actually, okay. All right, here I go. No more just standing there. Oh, yeah, I'm just kidding.